Believe me? Only answer if you're ready to be blown away. Never mind, I can't wait. I finished my dragon machine. I'm about to perform the final tests. So I'm kindly requesting the honor of your presence so you can be amazed and flabbergasted by my sniping genius. See you soon. expect to see you here popping in like that. Hi, Commander. I have a bone to pick with you. Before I get an earful, I told Marjorie it was a terrible idea. Marjorie's her own person, if anyone knows that. A refreshing dose of rationality. I missed you. So, this bone that needs picking. Did my invite to Dragon's Watch get lost in the mail? Well, there was the matter of the bloodstone exploding. And Lazarus. Flimsy excuses. But I'm in. If you'll have me. Absolutely. Have you heard from Marjorie? No. But she'll check in when she can. She always does. Why do you think she went with him in the first place? <sighs> Who knows what goes on in that beautiful head of hers? Hmm. It looks like Timmy's just about ready. Watch it! Watch it! She's rearing up! I told you this was a three-assorted job! She's loose! It's going to be close to her funeral! Watch it! Dragon minions liberated! They're all out! Oh, my stars! The containment fields are failing! Timmy, Timmy, Timmy! I warned them! handle a bit more detail? Great. First, that quarter-inch unit there is a thermogulator. Thermog coming from the Asura root word for... A little less. Ah, okay. It runs off the heart of OMAD's machine. That, combined with my spectrum research, aided by my assistant, Spencer, will let me manipulate the eternal alchemy to smash Primordius and Jormag's unique signatures together, thus canceling them out, i.e. dragons go... Bleh. Remarkable. Isn't it? For the experiment, I brought minions from the dragons to see if I can do it on a micro scale. You just met them. When do we get to see it in action? As soon as I can convince these other Asura to leave. I'm not exactly sure what'll happen when I kick it on. It'll likely work as intended, but could also blow this place sky high. Let's clear the area then. Well, there's a problem with that. Hello, progeny. And how are we ruining science today? You know, one of these days you'll admit how valuable I am. You'll see. Improbable. 
This thing is looking less and less like a coolerator and more and more like, like, the monstrosity destined to go down in the annals of failed inventions. Counselor Flynn, I assure you, it will revolutionize elixir cooling technology. I mean, who wants tepid elixirs? So, if you'll kindly remove yourself and your flunkies, assistance from my lab. To enable you to freely plunder all the research we leave behind? I think not. Uh, Commander, maybe you could reason with Punch, the esteemed, not esteemed, counselor here. Attempts at persuasion sadden me. No wonder you are kicked out of the pact. Commander! didn't go unnoticed. He's probably only a few minutes behind me. Lazarus, or whoever, is coming here? What should we... How should we prepare? Did you get any intel while you were with him? Plenty. He's raising an army of hired mercenaries. He has a base being built in the Fire Islands, all under the guise of battling dragons, but nothing that seems relevant to a personal weakness. Although, there was a mirror, like a hand mirror, he kept very close. I wanted a better look at it but it never left his side. Maybe that's what he's using to disguise himself. Mirrors have a long history with mesmer illusions. If we break the illusion, at the very least, we'll know who we're dealing with. How? Magic mirrors don't like their own reflections. It runs counter to their spells. If we can catch him in a few enchanted mirrors of our own, it might shatter the illusion. And if it doesn't? He'll get to see himself murder us from various different angles? You pick now to get a sense of humor? Kinda like it. I set up reflector discs around the lab to get the lighting just right to record my historic experiment. We could use those as mirrors. I'll enchant them. Once the illusion is broken, I can tie them up tight with magic. Commander, you grab them and position them in the right places. There, there, and there should work. We'll work on getting these folks out of here. Observing interrogations, ministers in white mantle, detecting lies. So, Camp Lazarus, did you find what you were looking for? We made friendship bracelets. You'll note I'm not laughing. Is that because it was a bad joke, or... Okay, I... I wasn't looking for anything in particular, I just... And next time, maybe consult your girlfriend before throwing yourself in the lion's head. The commander tried to stop me, too. Didn't work out so well. This isn't about permission. You're your own person, <clears throat> but you're also on a team. Dragon's Watch got along just fine without me. I was talking about the team you and I are on. Maybe I would have gone with you. Maybe I would have stayed, but I never got to make that choice. Look, I get it, but an opportunity like that, you don't just say, hold on a second and write a mail. Timey has communicators. You know what I mean. I'm glad you're back, though. Me too. I can outrun a centaur.
Now what? Just need to... Progeny, what did your defective machine do to the gate? It's broken! It's not my... What do you mean? The gate's down? Am I not being clear? We couldn't leave if we wanted to or not! He's trapped us here. Timey, we have to get these people out to safety. But there's no other way out! You don't mean... Uh, you do mean... But... Uh, fine. Open it. There's a hidden panel right there. The password is our new dragon friend's name. inviting you here. I suggest you leave. But my friends and I just arrived. Through a gate that was moments ago not letting anyone out. I had heard there was a machine here. A machine that could kill two elder dragons with one blow. I just had to see it for myself. And I was a little disappointed it didn't let me know about it. In the name of camaraderie, strategic alignment. You're right. Be my guest. It's right over there. Commander! Oh, yeah.
Chachka! Reflected in all the mirrors at once! Special. I 
enchanted by Lissa herself. And now he has my machine. What are your gods doing, Casimir? To what end, I don't know. But we can't just allow it. We have to stop him. I'm sorry. I, I can't do this. Um, I'll, uh, I I'm sorry, Commander. Tell Marjorie, uh, I love her. Okay, bye, I guess. This is beyond crazy. To recap, you picked a fight with a god. The god of war. Thanks, Timmy. Why do you think... What should we do now? The deception, the lies, the willingness to kill to get what he wants. God or not, my instincts say whatever he's up to can't be beneficial. Marjorie mentioned a base on the Fire Islands. If he wants to absorb a dragon's power, that'd be the place to do it. Right on top of Primordis. And if I remember correctly, he's also the god of fire. So, Primordis over Jormag. Then that's where I start. Thankfully, I put a tracker on my machine to prevent London. I'll send an assistant to help you find it. Head to Radasum. I'll line up transportation from there to the islands. While you do that, I'm gonna lock myself in the simulation room to run a test on a new theory I want to investigate. And avoid flunked? Always. Stay safe, Commander. This is uncharted ground. I'll be in touch.